Welcome back to Built to Last. I'm Ted Bennett, and I'm checking out a reinforced concrete skyscraper from 1903 in Cincinnati, Ohio, the Ingalls Building. Today, Cincinnati, Ohio may not be known as a center for architectural innovation, but it holds a very special place in construction history. In the early 1900s, this city became home to the world's very first reinforced concrete high-rise, the Ingalls Building. The Ingalls Building not only transformed the skyline of Cincinnati, but also revolutionized construction methods that would shape the modern world. During the 19th century, Cincinnati was a bustling hub, the sixth largest city in America, driven by canal traffic and industry. Although the rise of railroads shifted its prominence, Cincinnati continued to build on its architectural heritage. One of the city's most notable structures, the 16-story Ingalls Building, epitomizes this legacy. In 1902, railroad tycoon Melville Ezra Ingalls envisioned a towering office building in downtown Cincinnati for his company, the Cleveland, Cincinnati, Chicago, and St. Louis Railway, also known as the Big Four. He wanted it to stand as a monument to Cincinnati's progress and enterprise and to his company's prominence. But here's a twist, literally. Ingalls and his designers didn't plan to use traditional steel like most skyscrapers of the time. Instead, they chose a radical material, reinforced concrete. At this point in history, no one had ever built a tall structure using concrete reinforced with steel. Could it work? Leading the design team was Alfred Elsner, an MIT-trained architect joined by George Anderson and Henry N. Hooper, a structural engineer. They faced significant challenges. Reinforced concrete, though innovative, wasn't yet fully trusted in the world of tall buildings. No one had built anything over half the height of what Ingalls wanted. The local building department was skeptical too. It took Elsner two years to convince officials that this concrete skyscraper wouldn't collapse under its own weight. In fact, one local reporter even camped out outside the site, expecting the building to topple when the scaffolding came down. And guess what? It did it. The success of the Ingalls building came down to innovations in reinforced concrete. Ernest Ransom, one of the most innovative and important figures in the field, developed a technique called twisted rebar. This method involved twisting steel rods to bond them more securely with the concrete, making the structure incredibly strong and other engineers contributed ideas too, such as using stirrups and tension bars to reinforce the beams, adding to the building's stability. It might seem daring for a new material to be tried on such a monumental scale, but the design team was working from the tried and true, bringing all those methods together for success here at the Ingalls Building. In 1903, after eight months of careful construction, the 210-foot tall, 16-story Ingalls Building was completed. Its success proved that reinforced concrete could be used in skyscrapers, something previously unthinkable. In fact, the Ingalls building accounted for nearly half of all the cement used in the United States during its construction. So, the Ingalls building is more than just a piece of Cincinnati's history. It's a testament to visionaries who dared to believe that concrete could reach for the sky. And their bold thinking still shapes our world today. Today, the Ingalls building has been renovated into a hotel, showing that the continued value of this revolutionary building. And from the original daring and innovative design to the thoughtful and careful construction, it's clear to see that the Ingalls building is truly built to last.